Would you know if it really was 50-50? Of course not. Let me give you another example. When, when sports teams are playing for national or world titles, the World Series, uh, the Super Bowl, do they just play one game? Well, no, of course not. They have the entire season. Then they have to go through usually playoffs and finals. Now, in baseball and basketball, of course, they have multiple games in their world titles. The World Series is a, is a series of games. In basketball, the championship is a series of games. And it's because, really, on if you only have one game, the better team could be having a bad night. So if you play two, three, four, best out of five, best out of seven, now you're giving the, chi- the teams a chance to show their colors and demonstrate truly who's the best. The same thing applies in trading. You can't just look at a couple of trades. You have to look at multiple trades. But the question be- uh, may come into the trader's mind, well, do I look at two? Do I look at five? Do I look at ten? How many? How many trades do I need to look at? That's the question. Well, the answer really is as many as possible. But here we're going to focus on 20. 20 trades is how many we're going to look at, and then we can evaluate the results. So every time you start to trade, you should have a 20 trade segment in front of you. As you start to fill it out, you want to make sure that you're filling in the date, the market, etc. But you also want to take the time down here at the bottom. You'll notice on your page that you have a section for notes. This is where you want to track uh, if you're feeling anything. If, if This is where you want to put in your feedback. Did you get in too early? Did you get in too late? Was it a very good entry? Did you follow the system exactly? And then you want to put this into your spreadsheet as well. Once you're finished with the 20 trades, this is when you want to tally up how many points did you did you make? So you want a total after the 20. This is where you can see, well, how many did I win? How many did I lose? So if, for example, you had 15 winners, which means you had five losers, you're going to know what your ratio is. So you want to keep track of this. It will also be on your spreadsheet, so you don't have to worry about doing this completely by hand. If you... If you just follow the system, all of this information will be there for you, but you can also total it on the 20 trades. So you'll know what your win-loss ratio is. Once you enter all this into the spreadsheet, you'll know what your win-loss ratio is, but here we have a definite stretch of trades. We know over 20 trades what our results are. Okay, this really is a very simple sheet. The key here is it gives you a signpost. We don't have to worry about uh, wondering how many trades do I need before I can start looking at my results. You know it's 20 trades. Focus on the 20 trades at the end of them, then you want to tell your results. Okay, we've covered a lot in this section. And if anything's unclear, the 20 trade segments, the trading psychology, the seven deadly sins, thinking like a professional, if any of this is unclear, please get in touch with me, send me an email, we'll get on the phone, I'll, I'll, we'll hash it out as long as we need to. This is a critical, critical section for you to get, and it will be the make or break in your personal trading. Now, next up, we're going to go through some, some wrap-up, some final thoughts, and then we're going to be done with the course. You've, gone, you've come a long way, and I want to congratulate you on that, so don't stop now. Head over to the, the wrap-up. Get the final comments, and if you haven't by now gotten in touch with me, please do. Let's get on the phone, let's start communicating via email, and let's hash this out and make sure that you understand this and start working towards becoming that professional trader.